In this video, we are going to have a look at how to enable the built-in administrator account that we have in a Windows 11 machine using Intune. So by default, the built-in administrator account has been disabled by Microsoft as a security measure because the administrator account has full access to the machine and the administrator account has a built-in like default name called administrator and it has a well-known security identifier. So it's easier for uh, attackers to put in programs to kind of exploit any vulnerabilities that you have within the machine. Now, the reason why we want to enable the administrator account that is disabled by default by Microsoft as a security measure is to introduce Windows Labs on our machine. So Labs stands for Local Administrator Password Solution. We've been using Labs in the Active Directory world for many years. It has been a free tool provided by Microsoft with the introduction of cloud management of Windows 11 machines using Intune, we can still leverage the lab solution and control the default administrator password, keep on rotating the password, have complex passwords, and all of those. So we are continuing with the Intune series over here. So I have already uploaded two videos with um, the topics of deploying Google Chrome into Windows 11 machines using Intune, and also to block access to Windows registry using Intune. I'll put the links in the description and I'll also put the links in the card on the screen as well for you to check it out. Now to set the scene, I have a Windows 11 machine over here which is Entra ID joint and it is also enrolled into Intune. So as you can see, the default administrator account is named administrator and it is disabled. So you have that small uh, arrow downwards. You can also double click and see that the account is disabled. So the intention that we have is to enable the administrator account so that we can have a lapse policy configured on this machine. Now, if you configure a lapse policy and target the Windows 11 machines by default out of the box, it wouldn't have any effect on the machine because the administrator account is disabled. So the admin account has to be enabled for lapse to work. So with that in mind, let's see how we can enable the administrator account in the first place and in the second or the upcoming videos we will see as to how to configure labs on top of it. So let's get back into the Intune portal. So I'm logged in as a global administrator. You can also log in as an Intune administrator that will give you the necessary rights to create the policies over here. So I'm in intune.microsoft.com. What we need here is a Windows device configuration profile to enable the administrator account. So this is similar to the group policy management console that you have in the AD world. So let's navigate to devices on the left-hand side. Let's pick Windows as the platform. And the option that we have in the middle pane on the left-hand side is configuration profiles. So let's click on that one. Let's wait for the page to load. So as you can see, we already have a profile being set as part of the um, series. So the block access to Windows registry, so blocking access to the registry on these machines that are joined into Entra ID and managed by Intune. So we need to create a new policy for us to enable the administrator account. So for that, let's click on create and say new policy. And on the right hand side, we get the option to select the platform. So we are targeting Windows 10 and later machines and the profile type that we need to select is the settings catalog. So let's click on that one and let's click create. So that opens up the wizard, uh, which we are already familiar with. So let's type in a sensible name. So enable built-in administrator account. So that's good enough. So let's just copy that and put it in the description as well. Platform is Windows 10 and later as we have selected. Click next. Now we get the settings catalog. So here we have to pick and choose the setting that we need that needs to be pushed down to the machine and get supplied as part of our configuration profile. So let's click on add settings and let's search for, uh, we are dealing with administrator access. So let's search administrator and let's just wait for it to load. So we have a lot of um, categories which kind of pertains to the administrator account. Let's scroll down a bit and the one that we are after is the local policies security options. So let's click on that one for it to load. We have four settings as part of that. And the one that we need is the first one, account enable administrator account status. So let's select that one. So once you select it on the right hand side over here, 
you get the option on the left hand pane so not in the same window that you have on the right hand side we need to go into the left hand side and this is where you have the toggle option to select whether you want to disable or enable the account so by default it is set to disable accounts and ad enable administrator account status we want it to be enabled so we toggle it on and say that we want that to be enabled and then we click next scope tax are optional so if you're into it you can select your tax over here they are completely optional and hence i'm just going past that particular option now click on assignments over here we have three options you can have a group with your devices in it and then you can control the way in which you want to deploy it so you can test it in a set of machines that you have possibly the machines of the it guys make sure that you're happy with the settings before you come back into the policy and say add all devices you could add all users as well and since now it is a windows device uh, configuration profile which pertains to the device uh, administrator account let's just select either add all devices or we can have a group in which we add our devices manually and control the deployment now i already have one machine over here so let's just select all devices for the sake of it and click next here we have a summary of what we have done so far so the name of the profile is enable built-in administrator account it is applicable for Windows 10 and later machines and this is the setting that we have. So we are enabling the administrator account and we are pushing the setting to all the devices in our tenant. Now let's click on create to create the configuration profile. So on the, on the top right hand side you can see that the policy has been created. Let's click on the refresh button to get the policy listed so that we can be sure that the policy has been created so here it is enable built-in administrator account and it is it has been assigned and it is targeting windows 10 and later machines and it has a policy type of settings catalog so now that we have the policy created just to speed it up let's sync the settings to the machine rather than waiting for the device to check into the intune service which happens periodically so this is good for testing if you want to force it so this is similar to the GP update slash force in the IDE world. So let's go back into devices and let's pick the Windows device that we have on which we want to test. You can do it in two ways. You can either sync the settings from the Intune portal. So that pushes the settings from the portal down to the client. And we use the sync button over here. And it says Intune will attempt to check in with this device. If it is successful, it will sync current actions or policies to the device. Would you like to continue? That's exactly that we want. So let's click yes to that so this initiates the sync from the cloud similarly as an end user you can also sync the settings from the device itself so we go into the settings panel that we have we go into accounts on the left hand side and access work or school and then we just drop down the entra id connection that we have and then click on the info button and come down and we have an option here device sync status so you can use the sync button to sync the settings from the device itself so this is for the end user and the portal access is for the intune administrator so both does the same thing it just tries to pull down the information that you have anything new so it could be an application that you want to be installed on the machine or it could be a profile setting so it just brings the machine up to date with the settings that you have in the intune portal so let's wait for the sync to complete and let's see whether the profile configuration that we have made in the portal has taken effect as you can see the sync has been completed so it says the sync was successful with a date and time so let's close that window and let's go back to the computer management and see whether we have our default administrator account enabled at the moment so let's just go back let's just refresh and as you can see the administrator account has been enabled by the configuration profile that we pushed into the machine if you double click on that one you can just verify so the account is disabled is unchecked so that's how you enable a built-in administrator account using Intune. If this topic was of any interest to you, please consider subscribing to the channel as I upload videos around Microsoft 365, Azure, Windows, PowerShell, and general IT stuff on a daily basis. Thank you.